Greetings, YouTube. There is so much to talk about with this post, and I know I'm probably the last content creator on YouTube to talk about it, but I had a rare Monday night where I put the game away, and I walked away from my computer, and I had a really fun date. And I know some people look at me, and they say, that guy couldn't find a date on a calendar, but hey, it was a good night, and so I, um, I didn't get a chance to read this. And so when I pulled it up, at 2 a.m. and thought, okay, by the time this process is on my YouTube channel, it'll probably be, shoot, 6, 7 a.m., who knows. Uh, it's just a really big, historic, investigative, transparent post about how the MCOC team not only views 7.2 Legends runs, but Mercs and the future of the Legends program in general, which is, of course, outlined by the title of this post in itself. So, uh, Summoners, many of you have been patiently awaiting the results of the 7.2 Legends runs and the prizes that come along with the titles. In recent months, we've made great strides in identifying summoners that did not play this content legitimately or had others play the content for them, commonly referred to as using mercs. As a part of this, we made it very clear that the use of a VPN is not to be allowed in 7.2 Legends runs. However, every time we make progress in detecting this behavior or add restrictions to uphold the fairness of the contest, Players that do not play the content in the manner that it is meant to be played find new ways to circumvent or confuse our methods. Uh, this reminds me of that scene at the end of Batman Begins, and I know it's a DC reference for a Marvel video, where Commissioner Gordon says, well, Batman, what happens if we upgrade to semi-automatics? Won't it just escalate into the criminals using automatics? Well, it feels like Kabam is using a similar argument here by saying every time we up our detection software, they up theirs and just stay one step ahead of us. However, every time, okay, so we just said that. Using third-party software and mercs not only cheapens the skills and work that players that do not cheat put into achieving their titles and beating difficult content, it detracts from the spirit of competition the Legends program was designed to instill. While we can be fairly confident that we are identifying and catching all of these players, that sentence shocks me because I feel like two paragraphs before, uh, they contradicted that by saying we can't catch these people. Because it says, every time we make progress in detecting this behavior, add restrictions to uphold the fairness of the contest, players that do not play the content in the manner that is meant to be played find new ways to circumvent or confuse our methods. And so they're saying that while still saying that uh, they can be fairly confident that we are identifying and catching all of these players. Uh, this is a manual process that takes us hundreds of hours to complete, and there are some outliers where we are suspicious that illegitimate behavior took place but cannot be 100% certain. And so that's where it becomes kind of legally murky. If you, like murky, actually, believe it or not, that was not an intended pun. Uh, if you accuse somebody of cheating, but you can't 100% prove it in court, it's like a hung jury. It just takes one person to be doubt, doubtful to really uh, illegitimize your entire argument. For the 7-2 Legends run, we found many summoners that seemed to have taken a trip to another area of the world before reappearing at their original location. While we're fairly certain that this is not the case, would be an awfully big coincidence that these many summoners were taking trips and completing their Legends runs while away, we cannot prove that this didn't happen with 100% certainty and cannot act on it because of this. That is a really huge deal for a number of reasons. Now, I think if they were able to solidify a confidence, this could really help Mercs and uh, other cheating situations, not only with other content, but especially in the arena. So I'm actually kind of encouraged that they've identified the ability to do this. But at the same time, how do you 100% prove it? I think that's that's why they've reached what, they're, what they call the nuclear option with this. Because if you know that you can suspect beyond mostly a reasonable doubt that people are cheating and taking away honest spots from players, but you can't prove it in court, then you're, you're kind of stuck. But you still want to reward honest players, so it's really a, a tough situation. Um, as a result, we are no longer confident that we can continue the Legends program as it currently exists and have made the difficult decision to suspend the act-specific Legends run program moving forward. The monthly event quest Legends run program will continue unchanged. We've spent quite some time on the 7-2 Legends list and are happy with where we have landed with it. We expect to have the list out soon and to reward the players that made it to the top. In addition, we are expanding the list to 125 players. 
And I think anytime you expand the list to hopefully include more honest players, that's a pro player dis decision, so hats off to Caban for that. We are exploring new ways in which we can deliver Mythic and Legends titles as well as Wolverine Weapon X, but do not have anything to share at this time. We hope to be able to do a Legends program again in the future and are sad that we had to make a decision like this. However, when creating and running an extremely competitive program of this nature, we need to be sure that those who are playing legitimately are the ones being rewarded and not the client of a merc. Thank you for your understanding, the MCFC game team. Um, I always loved that last line, thank you for your understanding, because even if you don't understand, it's like somebody breaking up with you. It's like, thank you for your understanding, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave now. Um, I'm actually more encouraged than discouraged as somebody who has no stake in the game of the Legends program, because I've never attempted a Legends run, to, to know that their software is improving to the point that they can detect when people suddenly go to different locations with accounts and then come right back. That seems to be logically a pretty uh, obvious cheating system that so many people have used for so long, going all the way back to piloting the original seasons of Alliance War, I'm sure. Um, this is also a transparent way for Kabam to say, if somebody approaches you from another country and says, I'll log into your game for you and help you clear content, do not say yes. You are now uh, really risking more than ever before a ban on your account, and rightfully so. It sucks, though, for the people that didn't cheat, right? I mean, that's that's my biggest takeaway is if you were in a prime position and you didn't use a third-party software system and you didn't use a Merc and you've done multiple Legends runs of 7.1 and now 7.2, um, where does this lead for the rest of it? And really what's, what's fascinating about that question is, is this going to help convince the players at the top who are doing it legally that they should just walk away from the game. Because we've seen people who've said, if I can't make these Legends runs and prove that I'm the best of the best to everybody, because there is something about seeing your name at the top of that screen or so I've been told, uh, if that's no longer an incentive, then maybe they're going to cut bait. We have so many issues going on in the game right now with crashes, lag. Today was the first time in weeks, if not months, that I lost half my health multiple times in Alliance Quest because the game just crashed during a fight. And it was a routine, easy fight, but it didn't matter. Of course, I lost half my health and had to restart the fight. Now, uh, kind of ironically, the only reason why I wasn't totally upset was because I had the overflow of Alliance Quest potions that I could uh, refill my health. But those aren't normally there because we normally don't get compensation like we've been doing for all the glory. Uh, I also really emphasize, empathize, I should say, with the people who say prof what we really need right now, uh, because the content is so broken for non-Alliance Quest, is more potions and revives. And I definitely agree with that, that are not Alliance Quest specific, but can be used in regular event quests. And of course, it'd also be nice to have more of those as we are approaching the big final Summer of Pain fight. Either way, this is a really big deal. This is a really uh, nuclear option, big freaking deal for not having confidence, Kabam not having confidence in their own software that they can catch people. And so the only decision that they feel like they can make is to just disband or suspend future Act 7 Legends runs. It does seem like this is going to create a really good discussion that I look forward to uh, maybe reading in the comments. But I've, I view this, this is really bad for the people who have... Uh, done everything right but it's also encouraging that kabam is evolving their software to catch more cheaters so those are my takeaways let's end this before we reach that 10 minute triple ad or quadruple ad or whatever youtube likes to throw at ads longer than 10 minutes now thanks for watching hopefully by the time this hits my uh, youtube channel i'm actually asleep but there's only like a 50 50 chance that team insomnia is even not sleeping uh because of course i have insomnia and make way too much uh, effort to create content when I should be sleeping. Case in point, this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.